day students. My name is Lassisi Ajadi, your physics teacher. Our topic for today is optical instruments, under which we shall be looking at the microscopes, telescopes, the projector, and the prism binoculars. And at the end of the lesson, you should be able to use the concept of lenses to trace the paths of light rays and formation of images through one, the microscopes, two, the telescopes, three, the projector, and four, the prism binoculars. Now, let's start with the microscope. A microscope is an instrument used in viewing objects that are not visible to the naked eye. It uses lenses to magnify the objects to be seen by the eye, e.g., reading of small prints, viewing of plant and animal cells, and so on, types of microscopes. There are two types of microscopes, the simple microscope and the compound microscope. Let's look at the simple microscope or the magnifying glass. This consists of a converging or convex lens of short focal length, which is used for seeing a magnified, virtual, and erect image of a small object placed between the principal focus and the optic center of the lens. Two, the compound microscope. This produces a higher magnification than the one produced by a simple microscope. It consists of two converging lenses of short focal lengths, the objective lens and the eyepiece lens. The eyepiece lens has a longer focal length, Fe, than the objective lens, F0. That is, Fe is greater than F0, or F0 is less than Fe. Now, when an object is placed between F and 2F of the objective lens, a real, inverted, and magnified image I1 is formed within the focal length of the eyepiece lens. And this acted as the object for the eyepiece lens, which in turn produces a virtual, erect, and magnified final image I2. The magnification power of the compound microscope is a product of the magnifications due to the two lenses. That is, M is equal to M0 times M2, where M0 is the magnification of the objective lens and ME the magnification of the eyepiece lens. Telescope, from where we have the word tele and scope. Tele for very far or distant. Scope for view, from which we're going to define telescope. A telescope is an, op is an optical instrument that makes distant objects appear nearer by using special arrangement of lenses and mirrors, e.g. viewing of stars, moon, planets, and other distant objects. Types of telescope. There are various types of telescope, among which are, one, the astronomical telescope. And this consists of two converging lenses, an objective lens of long focal length, F0, and eyepiece lens of short focal length, Fe. That is, F0 is greater than Fe. The objective lens forms a real inverted and diminished image I1 of a distant object at F0, while, while the eyepiece lens acts as a magnifying glass taking I1 as an object and forming a magnified virtual and erect image I2 as a final image. We'll be back after a short break to look at a astronomical telescope in normal adjustment. Welcome back. 
During our last lesson, we look at the astronomical telescope. We now want to look at this telescope in its normal adjustment. For it to be in its normal adjustment, the lenses are arranged in such a way that their principal focus coincides and the distance between the lenses equal to the sum of their focal lengths to form a final virtual image at infinity. This arrangement of the telescope is said to be in normal adjustment. The magnification power is equal to the objective focal length all over the eyepiece lens focal length. That is, M is equal to F0 all over Fe. Also, the length of telescope, L, is equal to sum of the focal lengths of the lenses. That is, L is equal to F0 plus Fe, where F0 is the focal length of the objective lens, Fe is the focal length of the eyepiece lens. Number two, reflecting astronomical telescope. This telescope uses a concave mirror as the objective mirror that reflected parallel rays coming from a distant object, which is intercepted by a play mirror to form a real image, I1, which is magnified by the eyepiece converging lens to form the final image, I2. Reflecting telescopes are the most powerful because because the focal length of concave mirror is longer than that of convex lens. Number three, the Galilean telescope. Unlike the astronomical telescope, the Galilean telescope consists of a converging objective lens of long focal length and a diverging high piece lens of short focal length. The two lenses are arranged in such a way that the distance between them is equal to the difference between their focal lengths. The objective lens collects parallel rays from the distant object to form a real, inverted, and diminished image, while the divergent lens intercepts the refracted rays before the converging lens actually forms the image to now form a final magnified, erect, and virtual image at infinity. The magnification of the Galilean telescope is also equal to the focal length of objective lens all over focal length of eyepiece lens. That is, M is equal to F0 all over Fe. And it should be noted that for high magnification, we use objective lens of long focal length and eyepiece lens of short focal length for both the astronomical and Galilean telescope. The projector. The projector is an instrument for projecting on a screen an enlarged image of a transparent object, e.g. a slide. It consists of, one, a very powerful source of light to illuminate the object and a concave mirror placed behind the light source helps to direct the light onto the condenser. Two, the condenser. This consists of two plano convex lenses which collects the light from the light source towards the slide and illuminates it strongly and evenly. Three, the slide carrier is a framework in which the slide is placed upside down so that it will appear erect on the screen after refraction. Four, the projection lens is placed at a distance between the focal lens and 12 this focal lens near the slide to produce an enlarged, real, and inverted image of the slide on the screen. 
The principle of the slide projector is used in cinema projectors, photographic enlargers, and several other devices. We'll be back after a short break. You are welcome back to the last session of our presentation on optical instruments. Now, we are going to look at the prism binoculars. This is a short telescope consisting of a pair of astronomical telescopes, each of which consists of a converging objective lens of long focal length, two right-angled isosceles prisms, and a converging eyepiece lens of short focal length. The prisms reinvert the image formed by the objective lens after refraction to an erect image of the object to the eyepiece lens, which in turn magnifies it to give an erect and magnified final image. Let's take this as classwork from Wesey 2017, question 10. One, draw and label a diagram of an astronomical telescope in normal adjustment. Two, the angular magnification of an astronomical telescope in normal adjustment is five. If the focal length of the objective lens is 100 centimeter, calculate one, the focal length of the eyepiece lens, two, the length of the telescope. Solution. For astronomical one, for astronomical telescope to be in normal adjustment, we have said that the lenses must be arranged in such a way that their principal focus coincide. And the distance between them is equal to the sum of their focal lengths to form a final image at infinity. Two, magnification is equal to focal length of objective lens all over focal length of eyepiece lens. That is, M is equal to F0 over Fe, from which we stop the till 5 for M, 100 for F0. Then we now solve for Fe to give 20 centimeter, which is the focal length of the eyepiece lens. Two, the length of telescope is the distance between the two lenses which is equal to the sum of their focal lengths. And that will give you F0 plus Fe to be equal to 100 plus 20, and that gives 120 centimeter. Let's take the following as an assignment. Number one, from Wesley 2003, question 13. Explain the action of a compound microscope. Number two, Wesley 2006, describe with the head of a labeled diagram, the essential features of an astronomical telescope in normal adjustment. Number three, we said 2016, an astronomical telescope has objective and high piece lenses of focal lengths 3.5 meter and five centimeter respectively, determining the magnifying power of the telescope when in normal adjustment. Number four, from Wesley 2000, a simple microscope forms an image 10 cm from, from an eye close to the lens. If the object is 6 cm from the eye, calculate the focal length of the lens. Reference materials used for the lesson are 1. New School Physics for Secondary School 2016 edition by M.W. and Yakoha. Number 2. Random Physics by Undupu and OKK. Three, Google search for optical instruments. Four, slidesurf.com for microscope. Five, instruments.blogspot.com for telescope. So I want to thank you for being attentive and I wish you the very best of luck. Mm -hmm.